Get ready, friends. We're going to start repurposing our fall decor items. Hey, everybody. It's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy. If you didn't know, and if you did, thanks so much for coming back. All right. So I got this at my grocery store for 75 cents the other day. It's an acorn. And I removed these really pretty leaves. They're metal. Um, I sanded the part that said blessed, and then I repainted it with an, a chalk paint. The color was cashew and then I repainted the top of the acorn red do you see where I'm going with this oh I bet you do um I just did the top red you don't probably even have to do the back I I thought better of it after but it was too late um I glue on a piece of ribbon this ribbon I got at Target um and I just go all the way around super I mean stop already I'm like this is adorable then we take some strands from that mop we had from Dollar Tree and we're gonna loop well, not loop we're gonna thread one of those strands onto a bead I think the bead is probably a half an inch um and then I unravel the mop and look it already it looks like a mustache um I wanted mine a little fuller though so I put another strand of the mop strand stuff on to the bead and then again unravel those little um strands super fun then Around the edge, what I'm going to do is put a little glue and I'm going to do loops. So see how I did a loop and then I fold it up and then I loop it down and I press it and then I kind of squish it together so that they're really close together. And I do that all the way around the bottom. I'm just doing it on the edge right now. So do it all the way across to the other side of the hat. Ta-da! Perfect. And then I go through and trim the loops. I don't worry about trimming the threads or the pieces yet, just because we're gonna do a whole nother layer. We're gonna do the same thing, loop, and we're just going to go all the way around. I like the loop part because it gives a nice finished edge on the top. You don't have to do that. You could use just pieces of it, that's fine. Um, but this just worked for me. So there's that, and then I go and do the same thing, cut all the loops, and then I'll trim the beard you see it? <laughs> I did unravel many of those strands just because I wanted it fuller. Um, then I added two ovals, painted them in with some black, and then added um, a couple little white dots, give it some personality. Then of course I'm going to add some blush to the cheeks. Look how cute. Um, I added a little blush to the nose part too, and then we're going to glue the nose part to the face and oh my lanta. Look at his face. I can't. I trim the end some more and then we're going to add those um, leaves back because I think it looks really festive. It reminds me of Christmas even though it was for fall and again they're metal and they looked really cool. Um, so then later I removed this from a Dollar Tree sign. It's a little like um, frame backer. So I just added, I just glued it to the back and now we have a shelf sitter that actually sits. I mean, I am so jazzed about this. I love it. I love repurposing things. I love making things that were for one thing for another and we get more life out of it. And stop it. Look at how stinking cute it is. It's adorable. Oh, anyways, friends, thanks so much for watching. And I hope this inspires you.